Hello once again, it's Eric here with Master Tool Repair. Uh, today we're going to do a short uh, video on how to wire up a pressure switch. It's a very, uh, very standard pressure switch you'll see in a lot of compressors. Here we have a uh, very popular oil-free compressor, uh, Campbell Hostel, or Husky compressor. It's a Condor brand switch. Um, here we already have the shroud taken off of the motor cover. Pretty simple wiring and pressure switch. Uh, you just have to have a few guidelines, but it's very simple to do. Um, here in this instance, I have the pressure gauge taken off of the side mount of the manifold and the switch just so I could turn it um, as in the motor pump assembly is in the way. So I might have to remove a couple components like the safety valve or one of the accessories like the gauges and the manifold of the switch just to turn it into the right orientation so you can get to the parts. Um, here we already have the motor uh, wires taken off and of course the power cord wires. Uh, pretty simple though, on your pressure switch, on um, top of the contacts here, you always see a uh, notation, line and load, or line and motor. In this case, on top, you see a line here and line here. The video might not be completely clear, but you'll see this pretty clearly on the pressure switch itself when you do view it. Uh, a line on top and motor, motor on the bottom. And if you have a different type of connection, sometimes these switches will have a flag terminal like this, where it just simply slides onto the contact. You might have a different type where it's a screw-on type of terminal. Um, easy to, of course, modify that if you do have a different type of connection. Uh, but for this purpose, we have the red motor wire is attached to the fuse and the black motor wire. These, of course, go install into the bottom contacts. It says motor, motor on bottom and just slide them onto the contacts on the pressure switch. Now it's important to note that if you're not sure which one, the red or black, goes to which motor uh, terminal, it doesn't matter in this case. It's, uh, this particular pressure switch, you know, it's AC current, it won't matter, so you can install either one, the red or black, or white or black, depending on the motor wire color, into the motor uh, terminal. As long as you have the two motor wires and motor uh, terminals, it won't matter. So again, red or black, shove them right onto the terminals there. And of course your uh, power cord wires, here we have the black and white, just slide onto the very top. Of course it's notated line and line, which is your power cord, and slide on just the same way. And again, it won't matter, of course, if uh, where the black and white are installed as long as they are installed into the line terminals. And of course you're going to have your motor ground wire as well. So see, here we have uh, the wired pressure switch, black and white from the power cord, and of course red and black from the motor. And of course your ground screw will be attached in, on the base, the metal base, uh, you know, of this switch. And of course it will be attached here with a uh, screw, the ground screw, this is green, and that will ground the unit. <clears throat> so once you do have that installed, and again I have the unloader line off here, it goes to the unloader valve and the pressure switch, you'll need to connect that next. Here you'll see the unloader valve, which unloads all the excess pressure off the line once it shuts off. Simply attach that back with a quarter inch compression nut onto the valve itself, and there you have it. And then of course you want to simply reattach your pressure gauge you know, and uh, all the components that you have taken off, if you have taken it off. So there's a pretty simple explanation how to wire up a pressure switch. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, view the technical document on our website. Also have, you know, the text written out, instructions how to wire it up, or just call in a sales rep to help. Uh, visit mastertoolrepair.com for more information. But uh, really easy as that, as long as you uh, follow the simple guidelines and, uh, you know, notate uh, line and motor, and first identify those, and then simply wire it up as such. Uh, again, different pressure switches will have a somewhat of a different uh, orientation of where the wires are installed, but it will be notated on the contacts themselves. Once again, thank you for watching. 